Hi, my name's Roger Osborne. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to launch your trailer boat and retrieve it from a boat ramp. But before we dive in, if this is your first time watching, make sure that you check out rogersfishing.com, Australia's newest online fishing community. Rogers Fishing is packed with a huge, ever-growing resource of step-by-step -step courses, instructional videos, live question and answer sessions with me, and loads more. Whether you're an absolute beginner or have been fishing for decades, there's something for everybody. If you haven't already, hit that like button, subscribe, and let me know in the comments what you think. Often on weekends, boat ramps can be really busy. To save time on the ramp and respect other boat owners, park your boat in one of the parking bays at the top of the ramp or nearby, and do your prep before you get to the ramp. That way, you can be in and out quickly without inconveniencing anybody else. Put the bungs in. Tilt your engine up. Undo your transom straps. Turn on your battery switch. Or if you don't have one, you can test the power by using the tilt and trim button on your engine. Now put any gear that you need for your outing in the boat so that you don't have to make multiple trips back to your car. Walk down to the ramp and have a look at its features before reversing your boat down the ramp. See how deep the water is, how far the concrete ramp goes, is there any slippery weed or sharp oysters that may be a hazard. When you drive to the top of the boat ramp, before reversing, drive forward so that your boat and car are in a straight line before you start reversing. This will minimise any corrections that you need to be making while you reverse your boat into the water. It's best if you have two people, one to drive the car and the other to reverse the boat off the trailer. Reversing your boat down the ramp. If you are new at this, it can be challenging. Remember that when reversing, your boat will go in the opposite direction that you turn your steering wheel. The basic rule is, if you turn your steering wheel to the right, your boat will track to the left, and vice versa. It is best to drive slowly and watch your mirrors or turn around and look out your rear window so that you can see where you are going. If you have a reversing camera in your car, this can be of some help. However, I personally prefer to use the side mirrors and my rear vision mirror. If you make a mistake, just stop, relax, move forward and correct yourself and then start again. Okay, beauty, down the bottom of the ramp. I'm gonna release my strap from the winch. Just take this clip off here and grab my painter rope at the front of the boat so I'm ready to go and just gently slide this boat down into the water. This is a cracking boat ramp. I really like it. When launching solo, it is very helpful to have a painter, which is a short length of rope about eight meters long, attached to the front of your boat. This can be used to maneuver your boat to a suitable place out of the way of the ramp while you park your car. The Retrieve When retrieving your boat, if you reverse your trailer too far into the water, your boat is just going to float around and not grab the guides on your trailer. Reverse your trailer into the water to a depth where the first roller is submerged but your guides are still visible. When retrieving a boat by yourself, use the painter rope to help hold your boat in position while you walk back up the trailer to the winch. While maintaining tension with the painter, take your winch strap, walk down to your boat and hook it on. You need to do this fairly quickly and start winching your boat up because when there's a breeze, it's very easy for the boat to drift off track. Just continue winching until your boat is back fully on your trailer. Now attach your safety chain and you're done. When you're retrieving a boat with two people, one person can drive the boat gently onto the trailer while the other person mans the winch. I hope this video has been helpful to get you and your boat 
out there on the water. And make sure that you check out rogersfishing.com if you're interested in taking your fishing to the next level and if you'd like to become a part of Australia's newest online fishing community. Also, please leave any comments down below and click like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this video. I look forward to seeing you soon.